Ananda Gopi and welcome to my yoga flow. Uh, today is quite a strong dynamic practice. So if you're a beginner, I will give you options, but it might not be the best one for you to, to do. But please don't let that stop you. Have a go, see what happens. And yeah, so we're gonna start, we're gonna do like a wrist warming up, a bit of shoulder warming up, ready for the vinyasas. But for the moment, we're just gonna take the time to arrive on our mats. So sitting in a comfortable seat, whatever that means to you, you might wanna sit on a block. Bringing your hands onto your knees. If you're feeling like you need a bit of grounding, you can have your hands, palms face downwards, maybe holding one of the first finger in chin mudra. If you feel like you need a little bit more energy, you can just turn your palms to the ceiling. And we're closing down the eyes and just starting to bring our awareness to the breath. Nice, full, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Really feeling about or thinking about breathing into your belly. Belly expands as you inhale. And exhale, let it go of any tension. Full deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And now start to switch on the bandas. So as you exhale, you're going to lift up the banda. So think like your pelvic floor. Imagine lifting up. Say like a grain of rice, so let's go for a grain of rice. Nice deep breath into the nose. Exhale, that little engagement, lifting up. Inhale, release. Exhale, engage. And then your Uriyadavanda, so like your transverse, it's lower abdominals. As you exhale, switching those on gently. Inhale, we release. Exhale, engage. Throughout the practice, I want you to think about exhaling and engaging, inhale, releasing. It's good to focus the mind as well. Just staying here. A couple more breaths. Switching on your Ujjayi breath, that ocean breath, restricting the back of the throat, creating that audible sound. So imagine if you're below the mirror, and you'd be like, <sighs> but just with your mouth closed. We're going to start warming up the shoulders. So you can keep your eyes closed or open if you want to look or hold in. Bringing your arms out at shoulder height and just start off with little circles. So our shoulders, we work a lot in our shoulders and the chaturangas. So just taking time to warm up, find those little muscles, stabilizing muscles. Taking time to warm up properly will protect you and allow you to keep practicing. And then starting to make the circles a little bit bigger. Sitting up nice and tall. And make them a little bit bigger. Enjoy a little burn in the shoulders. And then make them small again. Circling back the other way again. Starting small. And taking them a little bit bigger. And then making them small again. And then release. Coming onto hands and knees. We're starting off with our fingers, so bringing you on your fingertips. So when you're in your sort of any kind of uh, um, time when we're on our hands, you're actually really gripping with the fingers rather than dumping into your wrists. So grip with the fingers. We're just going to start doing some press up. So coming down and up. If you want to make it harder, you can take your knees further away, but I'm going to stay where I am. Lower it down and up. And then bring one hand forward, one back, same thing, up and down. Really grip it with the fingers, giving them some strength, changing sides. Back to centre. So bringing both hands down, first finger forward, grip it with the fingers so we're kind of lifting out the wrist. And just start circling the wrist. So coming around. So you can play around, maybe going further forward, maybe not. And then reversing it. And then turning your hands out, same thing, little circles. And the other way. And then turning the backs, well, your fingers towards you, leaning back. So 
depending on how often you've done this, you might find this really impossible, but you want to try and bend straight to your elbows, stretching through your forearms, just playing around, just feeling the spine feels comfortable. Good, and release. Then you can start like, imagine you're gripping something, so it's grip, 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 pinching with the fingers. Coming 
me to a rag doll. So as you probably know if you see my videos, I've got a hamstring injury. So I bend my knees quite a lot here. You can have this bend more straight. Relax your head, as you rock, shake your body side to side. Just release it. Release your hands and then on your inhale, rolling up. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Come into Tadasana. Feet together, or well, you can have them apart if it's more comfortable. Rolling your shoulders back, palms forward. Rooting down through your feet, engaging your bundles. Just reconnect your breath. So inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. So we're going to start off with a third number scar A, but to make it a more powerful flow, double dipping chaturangas. I'm going to start off with that one variation, and you can stay with that. Otherwise, you can come with me for the slightly stronger version. Inhale, lifting the prayer up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, engage, bandages, fold over your leg. Inhale, half lift, flat back, so either on fingertips or onto your knees. Exhale, step or jump back to a plank. So, round one, maybe drop to the knees, you're going to come all the way down. This is the first version. And then inhale to baby cobra. Exhale, coming back through a press up, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, so inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Still gripping with your fingers, pulling the mat in two. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So you can stay with that version or come with me. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to a plank. Chapter and hold knee suggestion just to 90. Inhale, pulling yourself through for your upward facing. Exhale, back through Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Told you it was a strong one, so nice deep breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. If your heels are down, think about engaging your quadriceps. Lifting up, so you engage with the front of your legs. Inhale, bend your knees up forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, engage the bandits. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to a plank, lower down, chaturanga on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through to your upward facing, double dipping the chaturanga, downward facing dog. Hold it here, nice deep breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Nice, full, slow and steady. Remember that boundary engagement as you exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Let's go with two more of those today. Inhale, lift, maybe take a little bit bend. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to a plank. Chaturanga on knees, chest two. Inhale, pulling yourself through. Double dip, downward facing. Hold it here, it's a great way to build strength for those double dip chaturangas. Also really protecting your shoulders so you don't get the injuries. Making sure you can breathe. So belly draws in as you exhale, inhale you release, belly expands. Inhale, bend your knees up forward. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time on this one. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. The whole exhale, take it down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step forward, jump back. Chaturanga on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through. 
Back to your down, Chaturanga. Back to your down, facing dog. And again, breathe. One to work on. I've been doing that a little while now, and I feel like it's really helped me build my system, strengthen my upper body. One more breath. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So sorry I'm starting, but it's going to keep going a little bit different on each round. Inhale to a Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale to fall. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, chapter and go knees, chest chin. Inhale to your upward facing, straight to down facing this time. Inhale, step right foot forward, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank, maybe a one leg chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing, exhale to downward facing. Inhale, step left foot between your hands, rising up, warrior one, using your back heel. Exhale, step back to a plank, maybe that one leg chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing, exhale to downward facing. Hold it here again. Come back to your breath. Child's pose and the navel should you need it. As long as you're with your breath, you are in your practice. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to Utkatasana. Straight into exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to a plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, to downward facing. Inhale, right foot forward, rising up to your warrior one. Exhale, shift forward, warrior three. Inhale, find your balance, come back to your warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Chaturanga on each chest chin. Inhale, to upward facing. Exhale, to downward facing. Inhale, left foot forward, rising up, warrior one. Reach to the ceiling. We're out coming forward as you exhale. Warrior three. Find your control as you inhale, step back, warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Just around your knees, chest chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through. Exhale, downward facing mass. Hold it there and breathe. Exhale, two, three, four. Gently lifting your city bones to the ceiling. Inhale, lift your knees look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga on knees, chest chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Inhale, right foot forward, rising up, warrior one. Exhale to your warrior three. Inhale, step back to your warrior one. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, back to your warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Chapter on your knees, chest chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through. Exhale to downward face. Inhale, left foot forward, rising up, strong back leg, warrior one. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale again, step back to your warrior one. Exhale, reverse in your warrior. Inhale, back to your warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Chapter on your knees, chest chin. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Hold it here again. Nice and steady. Exhale, belly button to spine. Slow breath. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. Inhale to all the tasana. Final round. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to the line. Chapter and on each chest chin. Inhale, pull yourself through. Exhale, downward facing. 
Inhale, right foot forward, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, to reverse. Inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back to your warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Chapter on the knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pull yourself through. Exhale, down face. Inhale, left foot forward, rise in a warrior one. Find your balance, warrior three. Inhale, rising up, warrior one. Exhale to reverse. Inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, extend side angle. Inhale, back to your warrior one. Exhale, step back to a plank. Chapter on your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, you pull yourself through. Exhale, down twist. Hold it here again. Slow and steady. Back to the breath. So we're going to come to a little standing sequence and then we're down on the mat. <laughs> Inhale, lifting your right leg. Exhale, sit right foot between your hands. Rise up to warrior one. We hold it here this time. So pulling your left hip forward, pulling your heels towards each other, activating. Again, inhale, breathing in. Exhale, you engage your bandits. Stay with your breath. You can press your palms together or have them apart. We open out warrior two. So you just turn your right foot out slightly and then use your glute to pull the knee out. Body stays directly into the torso over your hips and turn your gaze on your middle of your finger. Still trying to pull your heels together. So think about that energy lifting up and breathe. Inhale, straightening your front leg, still pulling the heels towards each other. Reach forward, Petita Trikonasana. So inhale, reach, still looking active through your legs, and lift and twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, to twist a little bit deeper, looking towards your left thumb. Make sure you can breathe. Inhale, coming back up. Take half a step forward so you can square off your hips. And then bringing your left hand down, you're going to come into a revolved triangle. You might need a block here. Otherwise, left hand down and then to lift your right arm. Look to the thumb if you've got your butt. Strong left leg, using your glute to lift it up nice and high. From here, we're going to transition to half moon. The right hand down, about a foot distance in front, thumb in line with your little toe, again you can use a block, pressing through your left heel to open out, try to open up stuck hip on hip. So just to be really mean, we're going to do a little bit of control here. So with control, we're going to slowly step back, you should be able to control it all the way, reverse your warrior, and again, slowly slide your foot, find your balance, lifting up to your half moon. So slowly, whoop, control it. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Not always let the control. One more. Reach, lift, slowly, step back, reverse. Excellent work. Coming up to your high lunge. And then from here, step back to a plank. Chapter angle, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, to downward facing. All of that on the other side. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, set the left foot between your hands. Foot slightly to the side and then rising up to your warrior one. Again, so you're pulling your right hip forward. Engage your bands on the exhale, front knee stacked above your ankle. Pulling your feet together, a little activation of energy drawing up through your mouth. And just making sure you're still breathing. Belly rises on the inhale. 
engaging bands on the exhale. Opening out to warrior two. So again, just turning your toes out slightly, using your glute to open the leg, pulling the heels together, pressing through the knife edge of back foot, and then using, turning your gaze over your middle left finger. And breathing, find softness in the pose. It's strong, but we're finding the softness as well. Really feel that glute drawing it out. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Again, pulling the feet towards each other, reach forward. The teeth are dripping as an air. Oh, my balance is not good. You don't have to come that far down, you might be here. Just wherever you can keep a nice long smile. Pulling up your kneecaps. Inhale, coming back up. Take that little half step in. Left, right hand goes down. This time you're pressing through your right heel and then twisting. If you've got your balance, you can turn your gaze to your left arm. Fine, working with those wobbles. One side is always harder than the other. From here, we transition half moon. Open out. Again, if you've got your balance, you can turn your gaze, pressing through your heel. Checking that your left foot is straight, you may want to turn inwards, so you want to keep it nice and straight. We've got those little transitions. So slowly with control, step back, reversing your warrior, take it back forward, shift your weight, coming up maybe, trying to balance without putting your left hand back. And then again, slowly, with control, reverse. Nice, one more, slowly, control, half moon, and then slowly, with control, we reverse, and then transitioning, high lunge as you inhale, exhale, step back to the plank, chapter angle or knees, chest, chin, inhale, to upward facing, exhale, down. Bending your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump through to sit. And we made it down to the mat. Just a couple of seated poses. Then we are done. Let the legs straight. Janu Shushatana. Closing off your knee, opening it out to the side. Sole of the foot on the inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. So you might be here. You might want to sit on a block so you can get your hip hinge. Or you want the angle of the foot. But rather than kind of collapsing forward, we think about reaching our chest forward, looking to your toes. So looking where you want to go. So each inhale, find a little bit more length, engaging through your quadriceps. Exhale, let go. And then inhale, coming up. Bringing your right foot up. You can either keep your foot like this, you can bring it over. If you can keep your sitting bones rooted down, bend your left leg, right hand behind you so you're sitting up really tall, lifting your left arm and then you're taking a little twist. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, we twist. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, twist. So using that right hand to get you to sit up really tall, to get deeper, so you're sitting up, so you should have been that main energy channel. It is nice and long, you're not collapsing and twisting. Little derotation to the left. And then we've got the same on the other side. So, closing off your left knee, open up, Janisha Shasana. Again, active, lengthen, and then fold. So, as you can see, this is the side I don't have the injury on. So, folding forward, breathing in, exhale to fold. Nice, slow, steady breath. And again to soften, breathing in as you in, in, obviously breathing in as you inhale, belly expands, exhale, at the other engagement. And then slowly coming up, again foot across, or keep it on the inside, bringing the leg behind, left arm behind this time, lengthen, take your twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. 
Each exhale, finding a little bit of space just to twist a little bit deeper. And a little bit deeper attention. And we kind of come and lie down. So feet flat, slowly rolling all the way down. So love a little bit more strength work. Bring your feet a bit further away from you than you would in a bridge. Toes lift. So dig into your heels, lift your hips, pull your heels towards you. So you should really feel the activation to the glutes and the hamstrings. Pull the heels towards you as much as you can. And breathe. Keep going. You can stay here or extend your right leg, breathing in. And exhale. And again. One more. Replace right foot. Pull that heel in, left one extends. Inhale, breathe. And exhale. Slow, pull in, pull in. Keep lifting your hips, keep them square. Bring that heel down. Pull both heels in again. And again. Last one. And come down. Ooh. So hopefully you're feeling your hamstrings down. So we're going to bring your legs up into the air. Ooh. Hamstrings. Feeling that. So we're going to lift. Interlace your thumb and first finger. Lower your right leg as low as you can control. We're going to reach past and just pulse like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, two, side, so you've got ten, two, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, just covering your knees in. So, we finish off with a little hamstring stretch. So straightening your left leg. It's, so holding, you can either use a strap, or if you've got a a cord from the dressing gown that will work, so putting it over the ball and bring it in. Otherwise, holding your big toe and then just draw the leg in and breathe. So, after that glute bridge, my hamstrings are definitely feeling that. So, you can bring the leg in as far as feels comfortable but without bending the knee. And then release. Same on the other side. So I'm going to bend my knee on this one, just because of my injury. So just holding it here and breathing. Still feeling exactly where we worked on that bridge. And then release. Any large wrinkles you need before Shavasana, take them. Otherwise, just let your feet drop to the side, palms to the ceiling. Closing down your eyes and just coming to your breath. Relaxing, allowing your body to soften into the mat. Supported by the earth. Bring your awareness to your feet. Let all the bones and all the muscles in your feet completely relax. Let your ankles relax. Your calves. Let your knees relax, fronts of the thighs, backs of the thighs. Let your hips relax, pelvis, sacrum at the back. Stomach relax, navel center. Solar plexus. Let all the ribs and all the intercostal muscles between the ribs completely relax. Chest relax. Collarbones. Shoulders. And all the bones and muscles in your hands completely relax. Forearm to left, upper arm. Take your neck to left, your throat, 
Chin relax. Cheeks relax. Lips relax. Inside of the mouth. Tongue. Nose relax. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. 